Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Max Evan back here. This is going to be Flippin' Mates Part 2 because my mom kind of knocked on my door and interrupted my video. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, reaction Innovation Sweet Beavers and you know, like just Beaver Style Baits. They make the, probably the best, one of the best Beaver Style Baits on the market. <coughs> they have a bunch of colors and they're super durable. They last you about a good four, th four or five fish. Uh, this one's the Inhematoma. Good black and blue swirl ton of bait. It's kind of more of a black but with like a blue tint to it. Uh, this bait's really awesome. Catches me a lot of fish whenever it kind of gets colder throughout the year, and whenever it uh, sorry I had an itch in my head, and I'm itching here too. Okay, uh, whenever uh, whenever the water gets a little colder and dirtier, this is the kind of bait I go to. It's a good go-to dark color. Next is the uh, Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver and Watermelon Red. This is actually they call it fried watermelon, but it's a watermelon red like body. But these two glittery, glittery tipped, red glitter tipped tails, these things get more bass to bite than I think any other watermelon red craw, um, beaver, anything over any of them because they have those glitter tipped tails. I don't know what it is about it. They just seem to love this bait. The fish annihilate this thing. Like I, I, I've caught 20 in one day on these things, just punching them through heavy cover and mats and on hydrilla and stuff. It is insane what this bait does. It really kicks them. I've, on, I've had to go into like three, five packs this summer. Not three. My friend through, went through the same because we were just flipping. Just, oh man, these things kill. I love this bait. I have to get another pack of those. Those were awesome. So back to staying on the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beavers. This Reaction Innovation, but these are the new pot. These are the Kinky Beavers. Now I have these in Okeechobee Crawl. This, one's a little, this one has a green pumpkin top instead of a watermelon seed. Now, it's really cool. These They still have their little legs, but they have the cool paddle feet. These kind of have like a raid shell kind of design to them, if you guys can see that. They have like that kind of cone kind of thing to them. It makes them really kick whenever that big... These these don't really move for lightweights, like half ounce, but whenever you get like an ounce head, like an ounce jig or whatever on there, those feet kick. These feet really kick, really move, push water, where the fish are feeling a little bit more like, you know, action. They want something, but they want a big old profile. I throw this. This is a good four inch bait. I mean, four inch from top to bottom, considering they have these little tentacles here. And these actually move a lot of water, too. This kind of is like a bigger, beefier, thicker version, like a beaver style bait of the um, Berkeley Crazy Lake Sugar Craw. This thing I, works so much better than that, though. It's a bigger bait. Whenever I need something big and bulky, this is what I throw. This thing is awesome. I catch a lot of fish on it. Sometimes I'll even take these off because these kind of just get in the way. And I'll just kind of fish it straight up. But uh, Oak Chippy Crawl is definitely the way to go. I love this bait. Um, this bait's awesome. Super, it's actually a little bit softer than these. I don't know why that is. Yeah, I don't. I really don't know. I mean, maybe it just might be the pack. But these are definitely a little bit softer than the other ones, the originals. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to put that in the back of the box. Okay, now to the zoom. Um, when I'm flipping wood... I go to the Zoom Super Speed Cross Okeechobee. This has like a green, this has like a, just a straight up pumpkin seed bottom and then um, sapphire blue. This is Okeechobee Crawl as well. I love that sapphire blue color. Um, Okeechobee's always worked well for me too in crawl patterns. Uh, it just seems to be a good luck color for me, so I flip it everywhere. It works everywhere I go. Um, this is probably a great dock. I fish docks with this. And I fish uh, wood, standing timber, any kind of wood I find, I flip these to it on like a half ounce weight. These things, these things have huge action for such a tiny body. It's insane. Uh, it's a four inch from like tip to claw. So, but it's, it's like a two inch body with like a two inch super speed crawl claw. And these things push water. They're thick. They have a little bit of consistency to them. If you ever had the super speed chunks, they have that, that kind of bump bumpiness to them on there. It gives the fish really something to hold on to. These work great. It's like heavy football jig trailers as well, or just jig trailers personally. I don't I don't punch with these. The claws get too caught up and just kind of it's a mess. But the big ones are great on wood. It's I don't know why, but I, whenever I see wood, I always flip these to them. And I always seem to catch fish. Swim jig trailers as well. Those work great on with those. Uh, now if I'm punching and I want something small, 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 super compact. Don't want to go to a beer, but I want some of action. I go to the Zoom Ultra Speed Speedcross. Um, these things are great. Um, people I don't see use these too often to punch with. This is probably my favorite small punch bait. That if I want some action, if like I want some action, if I'm punching 
this is the bait I go to. If I'm, if I'm fishing heavy, heavy cover, I cannot use something too, too big. I want something small. I have, I, I, flip, I punch these. These things are awesome punching. I think go through the cover so well, I take off the little appendages, and I just punch, 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 punch. These things work great. They go through the cover seamlessly. Um, the claws don't have, are really small, so whenever you have a big old weight, they just kind of zoom. Just kind of, boom, hit the bottom. But those claws, like, I don't know why, but for, like, with the added weight, it sends out so much vibration that the fish just can't even stand it. Um, lately I've been fishing the watermelon red a lot. That's been catching me fish, but, um, the color I seem to work all, all year round is watermelon red and the sapphire blue. Sapphire blue, just straight sapphire blue on, like, a black and blue punch skirt, or just this straight up. It seems just to catch me fish day, all the time. Punch it. Um. If you're punching, like, say you're on, like, wherever kind of thing that you have, like, floating mat. <coughs> I fish on the Chaffly River Basin a lot, and they have a lot of floating mat, like, uh, stuff that you kind of see on the California Delta. I don't know what, I think it's called standing toolies, or standing pads, or whatever that you call them. But, uh, it's kind of like, you, I, I punch these through them. And, like, for some reason, the winter, the black, the, like, a black punch skirt, black and blue, and, like, these, I think it's because, like, the crawlers start to molt a little. They kind of get a little darker so they can absorb as much light as they can under that mat. And they, uh, they just hits that, hits that mat, and just, boom, and they just destroy this thing. I did a lot of punching last year, and this is probably my go-to bait, um, until I got into the beavers and stuff. But, uh, yeah, guys, those are, that's my videos for punch and stuff uh my go-to's are probably the pit bosses it's just a different color it's some big texan but pit bosses and then uh definitely the ultra rod speed cross and then when i want something big this is my kind of my summertime go-to because i don't really use these a lot in the winter well uh, they're actually basically sweet beavers uh star this kind of pushes a little longer for two segments uh, i like to, i like to do these reviews on stuff like that so if you guys comment on a review on a particular bait that's from my, my tackle warehouse video or my rods even i'll do a review on that too not my tackle warehouse my tackle box or even my tackle warehouse video um i will definitely do those comment um like subscribe do all that that good stuff so i can get my channel out there i want to get i want to start getting some more viewers so uh hopefully you guys enjoy these two vids that i'm uploading deuces guys uh comment subscribe